I've been involved in pickleball for about 40 years playing it when it first came out with those handmade wood paddles and uh, I learned to play it and love it as just a kid jumping around the court and then about five years ago I started playing again here I am in my early 60s and uh, started playing it again and found that it was growing really quickly and I all of a sudden I took my wooden paddle to play and everybody was playing with these great paddles and I didn't know anything about it and then I learned that yes like you said somebody in 1984 uh, invented a flooring material from a aircraft uh, and made a very nice paddle light quick and hit really well the only problem was it kind of had some noise so I started talking to a friend of mine as I was playing and we said, God, what a pity about the noise. I mean, is there anything, how come they can't make a quiet pickleball paddle? And my friend was Mark Nakagawa, who'd been in the sports business for a long time. His family had a retail sports chain, and he was involved in all sorts of paddle introductions from Prince to Tony Trabert, who had the first composite tennis racket. And he said, I know why. It's because there's nothing, there's no solid surface around the, the paddle that you can dampen anything with. And I said, oh, really? You can't do that with the edge guard? And he said, no, it's just rubber or plastic. It doesn't have any structural function. So we started talking, and we came up with an idea. This is our little torque paddle. An idea to put a solid edge guard all the way down into the handle, carbon fiber, edge guard that would allow us to put this material, the same material that's out there now, carbon fiber, and I mean, uh, graphite and fiberglass, and different honeycomb materials, aluminum, Nomex, and to put it inside of it with some gel tape to dampen the vibration that happens with this paddle. And it made all the difference in the world. All of a sudden we were talking about, gosh, Edge guard is it's still an edge guard, and yet it provides a structural function that can allow us to do all sorts of interesting things to it, including taking it apart and putting a different kind of surface in it. So we started just kind of talking about this as we were playing and said, hey, that's kind of neat. And then I said, you know, we ought to write all this down and maybe put a patent on it. And that was about two and a half years ago. So we started our patent process then, and shortly thereafter, I went and worked as product development person for the people who invented the game, which was Pickleball Inc., and helped them develop some paddles, but not this paddle. So I left there just eight months later after I'd helped them build the Elite Series and said, you know, we ought to pick this back up. And so just about six months or so ago, we began looking at actually taking this and manufacturing it. I'm holding a prototype that we had made that um, has all of the elements of the paddle itself. And it's interesting that like a lot of the sports, like tennis, a, a sport evolved based on ideas that have been generations in, in generations of players. Wooden, paddle, wooden tennis rackets were around forever. And then all of a sudden, somebody said, you know, we could do something interesting. And I see you, you have a picture there of the Wilson T2000. That was one of the first ideas that kind of thought outside the box for the um, tennis world and it wasn't well received by the tennis uh, association but it began to pick up steam as Jimmy Connors and other people started playing with it because it actually helped adjust the variables of play the sweet spot where it was the distance from the handle the vibration and other things that wood wasn't able to do. So we took the same kind of concept 
and are just applying all the existing rules and all the existing elements of edge guard, surface, handle, grip, and we're kind of throwing it, looking at it from a new perspective, and that is what would happen if we created this solid structure around it. And it all of a sudden opened up all sorts of things for us, like it did for tennis, where we can now envision having ideas like changing the perimeter weighting. As long as it doesn't affect the bounce and it doesn't affect the tra any trampoline effect, we can actually change how this paddle can be configured. So we realized that we had a whole new approach to this business and this sport.